is talking. That dude with the hoodie still out there? I can't ignore him. He thinks Harlem don't need me. Luke Cage is not a guy who's trying to be a hero. He has powers he didn't ask for. The woman he fell in love with is dead. And he was put in prison for a crime he didn't commit. Guess I can't trust nobody around here. Can I? Jessica Jones. After Jessica Jones, he goes uptown. He just wants to be left alone. Being a hero just puts a target in your back. Harlem is where he's hiding out. He ends up sweeping up here in a barbershop. But he finds Cottonmouth basically running Harlem. Cottonmouth. Cornell Cottonmouth Stokes owns his nightclub, Harlem's Paradise. But that's really a front because he's actually a gun runner. Everybody wants to be the king. Cage didn't want to get involved. What? I'm a freak. No. You're amazing. He's just trying to figure things out. You should be out there helping people. Reaper used to say the same thing. She was right. He just can't stand idly by and let things happen. You want Harlem? I don't want Harlem. I just want you to stop messing with it. If you see a need, and you decide that it's your responsibility to address it, and that's the hero's journey. I guess you guys haven't heard about me. Here, there are no capes. It's just, I'm whooping ass. It's about who he is and, and what he stands for. You know how the wind feels right before a big thunderstorm? Harlem's the same. Trouble smells a certain way. It's a really different vibe, a really different hero. You knock down a few doors in the projects. Now, you Harlem's hero. <laughs> I'm just getting started. Still not sure what I am. I'm just living my life, day to day. You should be out there helping people. You think I asked for any of this? I was put in some tank like an exotic fish. Came out with abilities. I just want to be left the hell alone. Well, that would be a waste. Harlan. Perpetual symbol of hope and prosperity. Too much happens in the shadows. People fear what they can't see. This place is our reputation, our legacy, our blood. Hit every business and squeeze them hard. Everybody wants to be the king. Sometimes if you want justice, you have to get it yourself. Wow! Hungry arms. Wow! The hungry arms. Give us the money. I don't like your tone. <laughs> You want to go to war, I'll take you to war. You might be bulletproof, but Harlem ain't. This city is supposed to represent our hopes and dreams. You have to fight for what's right every single day. Yeah, my heart is full of you. Why don't you just tell us your name? Neighborhood is yapping about how two goons got the beat down last night. I heard it was four guys. <laughs> 
Hi, Vale here. Now, staying with the superhero movie theme, did you know that Spider-Man was almost called Fly-Man? No, I'm not joking. When Stan Lee was asked to create a new superhero to follow in the footsteps of the extremely popular Fantastic Four team, the legendary creator thought up Marvel's next big thing after spotting a fly on the wall. According to Lee himself, that got him thinking about a superhero that could stick to walls. Flyman and Insect Man were a couple of his ideas on the hero's name before coming up with Spider-Man. So what do you think about that? Let me know in the comments below and I will leave you with some superhero movie playlist to watch. See ya!